It's all doom and gloom with these guys, and I can't seem to get enough of it. Incantation and their 1992 album Onward to Golgotha. This is the first album in Incantation's discography. With Craig Pillard on guitars and vocals, John McKenty on guitars, Ronnie Dio on bass, and Jim Rowe on drums, this Four-man band brought something dark to the New York City scene back in the late 80s, unleashing their first album upon the world in 1992. These tunes are intense. So what do I like about this album? The vocals. Pillard does phenomenal work here. He has this low, guttural, throat-ripping gut-munching uh, vocal style. It is a bit hard to tell what he's saying at a lot of the time, um, but I think it really works in giving an addition to the doom aspect that is more than welcome. The slow, brutal, and fast as well as insane guitar sounds are epic. They all bash and slam together and with no hesitation. It really gives a muddy quality to the entire production, and I dig it. The drums that never seem to take a break are always prevalent. They do become a bit too powerhouse-like, and sometimes they do overtake some songs, but I think that it is a great addition to this album's awesome sound. This album was and is its own thing, and didn't seem to borrow too much from thrash or previous installments of the metal genre. The artwork is interesting, as are all of Incantation's other albums' artwork. You can tell it's Jesus on a cross, with his face and fingers being pulled apart. Like, you can see fingers on the top, and it looks like, stuff, like his face is being pulled up. It's quite a macabre piece of artwork, but I love it. The production quality is pretty on point with these crazy sounds, and it manages to work. Your earbuds will be safe from just hearing a bunch of loud noise. Even with the longish runtime of around 45 minutes, it is still entertaining pretty much throughout. There are some catchy tunes, but... Now let's move on to what I don't like about this album. There's not a ton of variety. What you hear in the first few songs is pretty much what to make up the entire album. I liked the first few songs and found a lot of enjoyment out of the rest, but it might not be for everybody. The vocals are low, guttural, and awesome, but like I said before, good of luck trying to figure out what he is saying. While I enjoy the drumming, as I also said before, there are undeniably in the, an abundance of loud blast beats. I didn't say there were blast beats before, but that's what they are. Tons of them. Throughout this whole album. So I highly recommend Incantations Onward to Golgoth. It's a great album from 1992. And uh, you'd be insane not to get into Incantation. I prefer Immolation, but Incantation is really good too. My favorite six songs off of this album are um, number six, Profanation, number five, Blasphemous Cremation, number four, Devoured Death, number three, Rotting Spiritual Embodiment, number two, Golgotha, and number one, Unholy Massacre. Overall, I give Incantations Onward to Golgoth a 4 out of 5. Lion Brain got a host of Forest Entertainment. Make sure to check out my Twitter and Facebook fan pages in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe.